Good afternoon. It is May 19th, 2016. And I thought I'd show you my strawberry towers and how they're set up for this year. I decided not to plant on the back side of the towers for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, there's a little less light available to the plants and it also reduces the um, the roots of just filling up the towers too quickly. Now the openings on the back what I did was I got some extra foam from Bigelow Brook Farms and uh, I just cut plugs and capped off each opening. So that seemed to work pretty good. I decided instead of just leaving the plants exposed with the hydrogen, I cut more plugs and they look like this. And I just put them around the plants and populated each opening as I went up. And hopefully this will keep uh, evaporation down a whole lot. And the, the plants, each plant, uh, these are bare root strawberries I got from Johnny Seeds. And the variety is Seascape. And they're day neutral. These plants were, are bare root. And uh, they've really put on some growth here in the last uh, week or so. And we've had terrible weather. Last Saturday, I had measurable snow on the ground. So these are doing pretty good. Now, let's see here. So I don't make things up. I put the plants in the towers on uh, April 27th. And for the first two weeks, I ran a nutrient solution that was half strength just to give the roots a chance to get used to their new surroundings and I didn't want to burn them. Last Saturday I went to a full strength nutrient solution and I'm running a pH of about 6.0. And these towers, the second tower here is the same thing. I plugged the back and let's see here if I can open up the top here get a mirror and you should be able to see hopefully Oop. there's the hydrogen and there's the flow going into the uh, top of the tower now what I'm using this year just like years previous are these little 12 volt pumps and I do mean little and one of these 12 volt pumps is supplying nutrients for both towers which I think is just remarkable I have not had one of these fail yet very impressive uh, this is a 25 gallon tote uh, again, feeding both towers, and here's the return coming back into the tote. And when I these just fit nice and tight, like so. I have one air pump right there, and that's uh, supplying air to this tote and the tote for my duct bucket system which is right here and again I had measurable snow last Saturday so I'm pushing things a little bit I just put these tomato plants out here today I got these seeds from Johnny seeds as well I'll put the varieties in the description and I have one cucumber plant and I tried to make a little of improvements. There's a homemade manifold. And again, one 12 volt DC pump 
for all six buckets. Let's see if I can show you the flow right here. And I switched over to hydrogen for all the buckets this year. Let's see if I can get in here. Well, you should be able to see the flow rate. Those little pumps. <laughs> Sorry, they just impress the heck out of me. One thing I've always been pleased with uh, with the Dutch bucket system is I have never had transplant shock. Normally you put tomato plants in the ground or anything from peat pots in the ground and they just collapse for a few days. And I put these in here this morning and they've been happy campers. These are determinant uh, variety, uh, yellow and, and red tomato plants. I'm going to try these this year. These the indeterminates, they just take off and they just become a jungle and they're kind of difficult to manage. So, so there are the strawberry towers and there's my Dutch bucket system for this year. Now last year, I had a terrible time with fruit flies. I mean, it was just unreal. I had hundreds, thousands of fruit flies on these strawberry plants. I noticed uh, Bigelow Brook Farms, Rob, he had a problem this year. So I did a little research and there's a newer variety insect. It showed up uh, maybe five or six years ago and it's a real problem for strawberry plants. And I will include that link in the uh, description as well. So they have a suggestion for a trap and I am trying that. And if you go to their link, you'll see the recipe. And so far, this is working pretty good. And as you can see the little pests there, and you can hopefully see the amount of insects I've caught here in a relatively short amount of time. And I'm hoping that that keeps the uh, fruit flies at bay. They were terrible. They actually decimated my plants. Okay, in the greenhouse, um, I have two Kratky systems going. And if you watch one of my videos from late last year, you'll see I had uh, vertical towers in here. And I was all enthused and came out here and got things going. And I actually had these plants in the towers. And the day after I had everything set up and running, it, it just struck me that it was a dumb idea. I mean, I'm not criticizing the towers, but for greens, the cracky system is the only way to go. I mean, with the towers, I have pumps, and if the pumps go out, then the plants die and so forth. Or if I lose electricity, I had to have battery backup. I mean, it was just, quite frankly, a dumb idea. This here, there is absolutely zero cost to, make, to keep this thing going. There are no pumps. I do have an air pump in there just for hoo-hahs, but it doesn't need it. If power goes out, it doesn't care. This is on autopilot, and that's what I want. I don't need to have something that I need to maintain all the time. Over here, I've got some extra cucumbers. They'll probably be handed off to other people that can use them. And I have a bunch of extra tomato plants. I had 100% germination on all my seeds from Johnny's. And here's uh, another Dutch bucket set up down here. That's another 25 gallon tote uh, with one yellow tomato and there's a red tomato down there and a cucumber plant. So for late May, I'm doing pretty good here. I'm hoping these things take off. And 
That just went in the Dutch bucket today. And again, no transplant shot. So, again, I'll, I'll go back to my crafty system here. There's really no other way for lettuce and Swiss chard. It's a no-brainer. And I just, I was all, in, like I said, I was all enthused with the towers and it just struck me that it's a waste of money to run pumps and so forth and so on. So anyway, that's it for right now. Hope everything is well with you and have a nice day.